Welcome back to the Baseline Feed. Today I'd like to take you back to a younger time. A simpler time. The next few episodes will be part of a preseason special. Something I like to call Tales from an Old Man. This is more of a throwback to my childhood and a wonderful introduction to short stories and poetry. As kids, my brother and I would love to have our dad read us stories. One of our favorite authors compiled some ballads honoring the trouble and strife endured in early frontier Alaska. I welcome you to enjoy one of our favorite ballads written by the author Robert W. Service in our premiere episode of Tales from an Old Man, the ballad of Blasphemous Bill. took a contract to bury the body of blasphemous Bill Mackay, whenever, wherever, or whatsoever the manner of death he die. Whether he die in the light of day or under the peak-faced moon, in cabin or dance hall, camp or dive, mucklucks or patent swoon, on velvet tundra or virgin peak, by glacier drift or draw, in muskeg hollow or canyon gloom, by avalanche, fang, or claw, by battle, murder, or sudden death, by pestilence, hooch, or lead, I swore on the book I would follow and look till I found my tombless dead. For Bill was a dainty kind of cuss, and his mind was mighty sot. On a dinky patch with flowers and grass in a civilized boneyard lot, and where he died, or how he died, it didn't matter a damn, so long as he had a grave with frills and a tombstone epigram. So I promised him, and he paid the price, in good Chichico coin, which the same I blowed in that very night down in the tenderloin. Then I painted a three-foot slab of pine, here lies poor Bill Mackay, and I hung it up on my cabin wall, and I waited for Bill to die. Years passed away, and at last one day came a squaw with a story strange of a long deserted line of traps way back of the Bighorn Range, of a little hut by the Great Divide and a white man stiff and still, lying there by his lonesome self, and I figured it must be Bill. So I thought of the contract I'd made with him, and I took down from the shelf the swell black box with the silver plate he'd picked out for himself. And I packed it full of grub and hooch, and I slung it on the sleigh. Then I harnessed up my team of dogs and was off at dawn of day. You know what it's like in the Yukon wild when it's 69 below, when the ice worms wiggle their purple heads through the crust of the pale blue snow, when the pine trees crack like little guns in the silence of the wood, and the icicles hang down like tusks under the parka hood. When the stovepipe smoke breaks sudden off and the sky is weirdly lit, and the careless feel of a bit of steel burns like a red-hot spit. When the mercury is a frozen ball and the frost fiends stalk to kill, well, it was just like that that day when I sent out to look for Bill. Oh, the awful hush that seemed to crush me down on every hand, 
as I blundered blind with trail defined through that blank and bitter land, half dazed, half crazed in a winter wild with its grin heartbreaking woes, and the ruthless strife for grip on life that only the sourdough knows. North by compass, north I pressed, river and peak and plain, passed like a dream I slept to lose, and I walked to dream again. River and plain and mighty peak, and who could stand unawed? As their summits blazed, he could stand undazed at the foot of the throne of God. North, I, north, through the land accursed, shunned by the scouring brutes. And all I heard was my own harsh word and the whine of the Malamutes. Till at last I came to a cabin squat built in the side of a hill. And I burst in the door, and there on the floor, frozen to death, lay Bill. Ice, white ice, like a winding sheet, sheathing each smoke-grimed wall. Ice on the stovepipe, ice on the bed, ice gleaming over all. Sparkling ice on the dead man's chest, glittering ice in his hair. Ice on his fingers, ice in his heart, ice in his glassy stare. Hard as a log and trussed like a frog with his arms and legs outspread. I gazed at the coffin I'd brought for him, and I gazed at the gruesome dead. At last I spoke. Bill liked his joke, but still, god darn his eyes. A man ought to consider his mates in the way he goes and dies. Have you ever stood in an arctic hut in the shadow of the pole? With a little coffin, six by three, and grief you can't control. Have you ever sat by a frozen corpse that looked at you with a grin? And seemed to say, you may try all day, but you'll never jam me in. I'm not a man of the quitting kind, but I never felt so blue. As I sat there gazing at the stiff and studying what I'd do. Then I rose and I kicked off the husky dogs that were nosing round about, and I lit a roaring fire in the stove and started to thaw Bill out. Well, I thawed and I thawed for thirteen days, but it didn't seem no good. His arms and his legs stuck out like pegs, as if they were made of wood. Till at last I said, it ain't no use, he's frozen too hard to thaw. He's obstinate and he won't lie straight, so I guess I got a saw. So I sawed off poor Bill's arms and legs, and I laid him snug and straight in the little coffin that he picked himself with the dainty silver plate. And I came nigh to shedding a tear as I nailed him safely down, and then I stowed him away in my Yukon sleigh and started back to town. So I buried him as the contract was in a narrow grave and deep, and there he's waiting, the great clean up, when the judgment sluice heads weep. And I smoke my pipe and I meditate in the light of the midnight sun. And sometimes I wonder if they was the awful things I'd done. And as I sit and the parson talks, expounding on the law, I often think of poor old Bill and how hard he was to saw. Thank you for listening. Keep on the lookout for more tales from an old man. Baseline Feed is in collaboration with the Grey Roots Productions Network. Feel free to check out our website at BaselineFeed.com. There, you can see all of our episodes, submit stories for future productions, voice demos for jumping into the audio drama industry, and even chat with us directly. Also, consider contributing to our podcast by checking out our Patreon page for early access to all episodes, ad-free listening, and a few bonuses along the way.